Ubuntu is great, but it seems to hog more and more resources with each release. Unity aside, there could be bugs out there slowing you down. Or maybe you don't have the latest and greatest in hardware, but that doesn't mean you have to settle for slowness. Let's fix it. Brought to you by GoToAssist. I'm Nixie Pixel, and you're watching OS All, your source for open source. So the first set of tips that I'm going to talk about are going to be something that anyone can do to speed up your Ubuntu, and then I'll go more in depth to the specific issues and more advanced problems. It's good to know the programs that start needlessly on your computer's launch, but for whatever reason, Canonical decided that with the latest releases of Ubuntu, they would hide most of our applications from the Startup Applications Manager. To make those hidden applications visible, open the terminal and type this in. Worry not, I'll have all the commands in the description bar below for your copy and pasting pleasure. Just press enter and now when you bring up Startup Applications, it'll have all your applications viewable to decide if you want them to launch on Startup. A word to the wise though, don't mess around with it if you don't know what it does. Speaking of understanding your software, Preload is a daemon that does background monitoring of your applications. It's great because then it automatically learns what libraries you use and begins to preload them into memory, which makes your programs load up super quick. So I always use Firefox and I want to try it before and after installing Preload. Starting it up normally here, eh, that's okay, could be faster. Now let's get Preload by searching for it in the software center. It's in the default repos. With all my files preloaded into memory now, Firefox will start, yes, a lot faster for me. Making the most out of your memory is key, especially when you don't have much of it. Like I said before, the latest releases of Ubuntu are getting more resource hungry. So if you don't have much memory, it's gonna access your hard drive like crazy. Here's why. You may remember creating a swap partition when you installed Ubuntu. Swap is a separate place on your hard disk meant for virtual memory. The swappiness parameter, as silly as it sounds, controls how much the kernel moves processes out of physical memory and onto your swap disk. Writing data on a hard disk is very slow compared to RAM, so if you don't have RAM to spare, you'll want to lessen the kernel's tendency to swap by changing the swappiness value. And you can do that by starting the terminal, and we'll want to check out what our current swappiness value is, which in Ubuntu it's usually 60. Yep, and you can see that it's 60. So then we'll open this config file in a text editor. I use gedit. And then go to the end of the file and enter the following line. We're changing the swappiness to 10 instead of 60, so the kernel will less aggressively swap. So then save that file and restart the computer. It's one of the very few times you have to do it in Linux. Once you restart, go ahead and check the swappiness again, and it should be the new value you set. You can even do zero if you want. So we just used a text editor, gedit, to change swappiness. And say we noticed that it was acting really slow. Well, there's even a solution for that. This one's a fairly common one. Maybe a bug that they haven't fixed yet? Start gedit and select edit, preferences, choose the plugins tab, and deselect that file browser panel plugin. I have to say I've encountered this several times and I have a fairly beefy computer, so it just goes to show that it's not always a hardware problem that causes Ubuntu to act slower than molasses. All that we talked about should help immensely, but if Ubuntu is still chugging away, I'd suggest switching to a less resource-intensive Windows Manager. And it always helps to use open source and lightweight applications. So I'm going to post all the links that you need to know below, and uh, as well as the code that I used in my video also. So thanks for watching OS Alt. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on next Friday's episode of All Things Open Source. Hopefully with a new camera. Faster than a PCIe SSD, more powerful than an overclocked octocore CPU, able to leap tall cubicles with a single bound, he's IT man. Seriously though, if you use GoToAssist by Citrix, you can be the resident superhero. Be everywhere at once without even leaving your own home. With GoToAssist remote support, you can set it up in mere minutes and work from your PC, iPad, or Android device. 
Then there's the GoToAssist monitoring feature, acting as your bat signal to proactively alert and notify you at the first sign of danger. To top it all off, you have Service Desk, which allows you to log and track all your problems, their solutions, and your adventures. So even if you can't fly like Superman or Woman, don't worry, all the tools are in the cloud and within your reach today. Just visit gotoassist.com, click on the Try It Free button, and use the promo code OSALT. That's gotoassist.com, promo code OSALT. Wait, Superman doesn't have a bat signal. Oh, if you count issue number 86, Superman, Batman, they were partnered together to fight crime. Yeah, anyway.